A Carroll County man will spend more than a decade behind bars in what's a disturbing case of animal cruelty. Dozens of dogs found dead and alive living in horrible conditions. WJC's Live, Kelsey Kushner explains the sentencing is one of the harshest ever handed down in the state. Kelsey. Well, Rick and Vic Roberts was given the maximum sentence after pleading guilty to animal cruelty. Now, this comes just six months after investigators found 27 dead dogs and dozens more living in filth. This is the face of 49 year old John Roberts, now serving over a decade behind bars for animal cruelty. Roberts pleaded guilty to 11 counts of aggravated animal cruelty after investigators found 27 dead dogs and 27 more living in filth in a house he was renting on Black Rock Road in Hampstead. Wednesday afternoon, a judge sentenced Roberts to 33 years, suspending all but 11 years and 11 days. Animal advocate Holly Ortel says it's the largest of its kind in the state. We as animal lovers, animal activists, we have to be the voices for them since they can't speak. The Carroll County State's Attorney says back in April, animal control officers discovered 11 dead dogs inside the home. 16 more were found tossed in totes in a shed and in the bathtub. Ortel says being in court was a painful reminder of the horrific discovery. When the pictures were brought up and um, the video, I was um, pretty emotional. There wasn't really a dry eye in that courtroom. 56 year old Laura Filler is also charged in the case. She pled to guilty to 11 counts of aggravated animal cruelty. Prosecutors say both Roberts and Filler were operating an unlicensed breeding operation. They say the dogs were confined to the home without food or water and as much as four inches of sludge was covering the floor. Some of the dogs rescued were microchipped and returned to their owners while others were laid to rest. It's very disturbing and heartless and how can someone do that? Now filler is being held at the de detention center without bond. Her hearing is set for January 17th. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.